I'm Sam. And I am his brother, Ross. When I was five, I was diagnosed with leukaemia and still having treatment now. We're here to introduce you to Dr. Kathleen. She's going to tell us all about the research she does with children with cancer. And because it's very clever stuff, we're going to help you understand what she's saying. So, Dr. Kathleen, what is your job? Well, I'm a paediatric doctor and I'm currently doing a clinical research fellowship at the UCL Institute of Child Health. My main focus is looking at a protein called B7H3 as a target for immunotherapy in childhood cancers. Dr Kathleen is looking for little bits of cancer cells called B7H3 that she might be able to use to help cure children's cancer. Immunotherapy is a way of using our own body's natural defences to attack cancer cells. B7H3 is highly expressed on a range of different childhood tumours including neuroblastoma and a brain tumour called DIPG. It's relatively poorly expressed on healthy tissue which gives it a high therapeutic index and makes it a good target for immunotherapy. She says that this protein isn't usually found in our bodies but it is often found in cancer cells. This means it's very useful when we want to treat cancers. A neuroblastoma is a rare type of cancer that, that nerve, can cancer. nerve cancer Blasto neuro, ner means nerve. neuro means nerve, blastoma means cells, cells that are growing, oma means a tumour or a lump. A group of cells are tumours. We also think it's involved in immune modulation and there's increasing evidence to suggest it's involved in immune inhibition, specifically by inhibiting T cells in the tumour microenvironment. Scientists have discovered that cancer cells that have lots of B7H3 are more resistant to attack from our body's own attack cells. It's almost like cancer... It's almost like cancer, cancer. switches... It's cancer. It's almost like cancer switches off our killer cells. The cancer. It's almost like the cancer switches off our killer cells. Thank you, Michael. B7H3 also seems to have a role in oncogenesis. Tumours that express high levels of B7H3 are more aggressive, more invasive, and they tend to metastasize more. Research has also shown that B7H3 helps the cancer cells to get bigger and to spread around our body to make more cancers. Oncogenesis means turning normal healthy cells into bad cancer cells. I'm hoping to develop simple antibodies against B7H3, which I can then further modify into different types of immunotherapy. Kathleen is aiming to make antibodies, proteins usually made by immune cells that recognise B7H3. Antibodies are like a flag that tells our bodies which cells to attack. How will all that help cure cancer? It'll help us make treatments that are better at finding more of the cancer cells and not the healthy cells. This will make the treatment more effective and help reduce the side effects. Thanks Dr the Kathleen, Kathleen. Good, luck. good luck! Try not to be in dilly daydream world next time.